In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create an e-commerce project using Messenger from scratch. Uh, this tutorial is divided into three parts. Uh, parts one, uh, we should create the website name, uh, store, view, and category and attributes related to the website. And in the second time, in the second part, four types of products will be created. And in the third part, all discount rule and uh, coupon will be generated for selling. So in this tutorial, I will show you part one. And the step of the part one is to download the latest version of Messenger from the Messenger site and install it in the Jam server. I've already installed it. Yeah, if you uh, face any problem in installing Messenger, then you can follow the Messenger installation step tutorial of this channel. So my uh, project is related to selling daily goods. So my project target will be online food providers. So I have already logged into my admin panel. So create a new website, go to store, all store. This is the uh, default website, main website. I will create my new site from here, create website. Online food provider. Online food provider and uh, give a unique name for both online OFP. Now click on the save website button to create the website. Okay after creating the website you will uh, show an entry the online food provider. Now I can go for step three create the product categories related to the project. Uh, this project is related to daily goods, so our product, product category will be like this, daily, dairy or bakery, bakery, tea, coffee, etc. So I will follow this hierarchy. So go here and to create the categories, you have to go catalog and category. Okay, uh, there is one default category. Uh, now I will uh, create a category for my project and click on add root category. Give the name as food category. And save. Okay, our food category is created. Now, uh, now create one two three four and five subcategories under food category first select the category and add sub first category is home you can see home is assigned under food category in the same way create dairy and battery Select this one and add subject. Dairy, after, back. Set. Next one is beverages, contactors, and accountants. Here, select food category and add. You can see our all five categories, subcategories are created and now add another two categories under daily, bakery, daily and bakery. To do this click on it and add subcategory.
after creating our category, so your category page will be look like this. Food category is our main root category, and under this category, there are five subcategories: forms, dairy, bakery, beverages, contractors, and apartments. And under dairy bakery, there is another two subcategory: dairy and bakery. And under beverage, there are two subcategories: tea and coffee and soft drinks. Now I can go for the step four: create a store name, food store. To do this, we go to store. Also, and now click on create store. Okay. Uh, here you have to choose your website. I have created my website one online food provider. To select your website here and keep the store name here, food store, and keep it good like this. And select the category. The category that I have created in my earlier step is food category. So I will use this category here. Now save. After saving the store, click on the back link. Your newly created store will be displayed here. And now I will create the store view, which is the step five, food view. Create store view, and uh, here you have to choose the your store here. I have selected food store, and now type the name for your view. Food view, and then you need code FB and make it downloadable. And now click on the save store view button. After uh, completing these tasks, your three entries will be shown here. Online food provider, which is website name, food store is food store name, and food view is the store view. Now we go for the next step: create necessary attributes and attributes. To do this. You have to go stores attribution. So click on it, and this is the default attribution. I will create a new attribution for my website. So click on add attribution. Here, uh, keep the name of your attribute set food attribute set. on default now click on save okay now our attribute set is created here now I will create the attributes and uh, here two attributes names are mentioned here company and tag so you can add the attribute here or by uh, you can also add the attribute when you will create the product entry. So uh, I will do this task in my part two tutorial when I will create my simple product. So do the task in the next tutorial and first complete the part one to continue with the part two. Thank you for watching.